Hey everyone, Mark here from the windowcleaningstore.com. Well, we're getting to the end of the winter here. Spring is just around the corner. A lot of you guys and gals are pulling out your pure water systems now. And you might be wondering, hmm, is it time to change out those RO membranes? Now you probably know from looking at your manual or working with your system in the past, that the pre-filters, generally it's recommended to change them out every six to eight weeks. Maybe even sooner, depending on your area, depending on what kind of stuff is floating around the lines. And of course, the DI is usually recommended to change anytime your TDS meter reads 10 parts per million or above. But what about that RO? When do you know it's time to change that? So on a multi-stage system, the RO usually takes care about 95% or even a little bit more of the uh, impurities taking out the minerals, the water, before it gets to the DI. And like I said, 95% is usually the standard for when it's brand new. But after the system's been, you know, year one, year two, maybe even going into year three, it's not going to be able to do its job as well. And let's say instead of 95%, it's only blocking uh, 90%. That means the DI has to work a little bit harder. Then maybe after several months, it's only working at about 85%. DI has to work even harder, and so on and so on. So, of course, the less that the RO can do, the more the DI has to make up the shortfall, which means you might find that you're changing out your DI a lot more, it's starting to cost a lot more for changing out the DI. So the industry standard is usually is when the point is that the ROs are only blocking about 80%, that's usually a good time to definitely change out your ROs, otherwise you're just gonna be changing out the DI way too much. Okay, so I've got a formula here to tell whether or not it's time to change out the RO membranes. Just have a look at this chart here and certainly feel free to take a screenshot of that. So the letter A is going to be a representation of what you're going to read out of the tap water. So wherever you're doing this test, you want to take a, a TDS reading, find out what the PPM is coming out. B is going to represent what's coming out of the RO output side. So to measure that, what you're going to need to do is on your machine, there will be a hose that goes into the DI. And this hose is the output of the RO. So on the eco cart, this hose here is what's coming out of the RO after the RO has done its filtration before it goes into the DI. And here it is on the zero pure. It's this black hose here. So you want to take these out. They're just press pressure fit fittings. So you can just pull out the collar, take the hose out. So the formula is this. A represents your tap water. B is your pure output. So you take A and you subtract B gives you C. So let's assume uh, you had 100 coming out of your tap and you had 10 coming out of your RO. Uh, subtract that, you'd end up with 90. So if you go 90, which would be this C, 90 divided by A, which is the tap water, will give you D. And it probably it would be 0.9. And then you do it times 100, and that would give you 90%. So in other words, at that point, these ROs would be performing at 90% capacity. That means no need to change up the RO. Now, we're not always going to be so lucky and have nice even numbers like 110 and whatnot. So I'm going to show you a real world example. So a customer called me up the other day and they said, hey, you know, I've got uh, 275 coming out of my tap and right now I'm getting 23 out of just the RO. So 275 out of the tap, 23 out of the RO. So you take that 275 and you subtract 23, it gives you 252. Now you take that 252 and you divide it by the tap water number, 275, and that gave us 0.916. We times it by 100, and that'll root, uh, end up being 91.6%. So in this formula, it's showing us 91.6% reduction in TDS, that is the mineral uh, reduction. So these ROs on this particular guy's machine was perfectly fine. Like I said, when you do this formula, I'll hold this up again. If you haven't taken the screenshot yet, take it now. With this formula, it will tell you whether or not you're getting close to 80%, like down to 80%. And of course, once you get to around 80%, some people will even do it at 85%. They'll say, okay, Time to change out the RO. That way I'm going to save money on DI replacement costs. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful in uh, determining what the health is like on your system. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.